Hello friends, welcome to Dedicated Co. On the request of our users, we had a lot of requests we uh, got for the Hadoop installations. Okay, so now we come up with the solution, and this video is all about Hadoop installation. Please make sure that Hadoop installation is a lengthy process. So we recommend you to watch the video very seriously and step by step perform the operation. We try to explain each and every point so you can able to understand the concept very easily. Okay, so you can able to say that we are going to install Hadoop on Ubuntu. So, what is Hadoop? Hadoop is a Java based open source freely available software platform for storing and analyzing big data sets on your system cluster. It keeps its data in Hadoop distributed file system, it is also called HDFS, and processes it utilizing map reduce. You can able to say that Hadoop is used in machine learning and data mining technique. So you can able to say that it is also used for managing multiple dedicated servers. So basically, we know the basic concept of Hadoop. Now it is time to start the installation. Please make sure that it's a Java based platform. So we must need to install Java first. Okay. Before that, we, what we will do, we will first update our repositories. So to update the repositories, we can able to use this command sudo space apt space update. Before that, let me check whether we had installed Java or not. You can able to see that Java has not found in our system. By installing this command, we can install JRE from OpenJDK 17. After that, we will check version. So you can able to see that it is showing 11.0.20.1. You may need ADK in addition to JER. To install a JDK, we can able to use this command and hit enter. It will ask for the permission, say yes, and wait for the completion of installation. Now we will check JDK version or you can say Java compiler. Then we have completed our Java installation on our Ubuntu. Once done, we now need to install OpenSSH on our Ubuntu. Please make sure that all these commands are already given in the description. You can able to go and follow the steps. Before moving further, we forgot one thing that is create Hadoop as a user in our system. To create that, enter sudo space add user space Hadoop. It will ask for the passwords. So we will enter new password and retype the new password. And here it is our new password. It will ask for the full username. Yeah, full name. So I will enter support dedicated core and then it will ask for the room number one and phone number, office number and that's all. Test information is correct. Yes. Done. After that, we will switch the user. To switch the user, we have to install, add this command. And here you can able to see that root is now converted to Hadoop. After doing this, we need to generate a public key and private peer. Okay, so this is all about OpenSSH, right? So don't forget about that. So here, enter this and wait. Done. After that, enter this command and hit. It is asking for passphrase. Hit enter. Once done, we will change the permissions and hit enter. It is asking for the password. That is a Hadoop password. Let me enter the password. Let me clear this error and then we will start. Okay, done. Now we will check SSH local. Say yes. It is asking for the username and password. And we are successfully logged in. After that, now it is time to start the installation of Apache Hadoop. In this case, on this screen, you can able to see that we currently have 
a latest version called as a 3.3.6 so we can able to install this before that we need to first download the version to download right click this copy and then enter here wget space paste and hit enter download process has been completed now it is time to extract the file with the help of tar method and hit enter now it is time to extract the file to extract the file we can able to use this command you can see the extraction process is started after that we will enter this which java so we will get the path and we can able to enter this command now it is time to configure hadoop hadoop excels when deployed in full distribution mode on a large cluster of networked servers however if you are new to hadoop and wanted to explore basic commands or testing you can configure hadoop on single node and this setup also called spudo distribution mode allow each hadoop daemon to run as a single java process to do this we first need to edit certain files in hadoop let me clear the screen first here we forgot one thing we will change this version to a hadoop move space hadoop space hadoop 3.3.6 space hadoop now all the files from this particular folder is went to that hadoop let me check done here we will list the file we'll go into the hadoop list the file we'll go into the etc and list the file i will again go to the hadoop yeah now we are on the final directory now here if you i will click on list you will find the lot of files are here in this particular file we will edit dot bash rc vi space hit end in this we need to add few lines at the bottom of the file let me read and hit enter and here we will save this we are running 11 version so i will enter here 11 let me save the file done after that we will activate the environment done second we will edit another file named hadoop hyphen nev dot sh in this particular file we has to add our java environment link let me paste here save the file we will check this so this is the path of our java compiler after that we has to link use the provider path to find open jdk directory with the following command here you can able to see that slash bin slash java c before that the path has given we has to add to a dollar java underscore ho environment for that let me copy this yeah done now third one we will edit core hyphen site dot xml here we will replace the default one i will delete this and paste the new code and we'll save the file now time to edit next file again we will do the same process here we will de delete this add new code and here if you wanted to change the replication you can able to change the variable like 1 2 3 4 10 it is totally depend on your business requirements after that we will save this file now we will move towards the next file edition we have space map read hyphen site dot xml here 
again we have to do the same thing first edit the file then paste the content and save the file now only two files are remaining to edit here we have to repeat the process save the file here we got the error permission denied let me fix this to fix this we can able to use these commands please pause the video and carefully get the data and enter the commands as it is and hit enter after that we will register key and hit enter to test it we can able to type ssh local host and you can see that we are connected successfully let me exit and then we will move forward for the start of hadoop after that we will start yarn to verify the all commands running we can able to use command jps you can see that everything is running properly to accept the hadoop we will enter in the browser our ip address colon 9870 after enter this we can able to see that we are now on hadoop home page to understand 9870 gives you access to hadoop name node ui whereas default port 9864 is used to access individual data node here we are on the data node for yarn source manager we can able to use 8088 so this way we have completed our hadoop installation very successful please make sure that in this video we got two three errors and also we helps you to fix those errors in this video only